<clears throat> okay, so the Eight of Pentacles did end up coming out here, interestingly enough. I had Freudian slip mentioned it earlier. <clears throat> you got the Knight of Cups here. This is an offer, sometimes Aquarius Pisces, masculine energy. Um, this could be a work-related offer coming through. Three of Pentacles suggests work. Wanting to work smarter instead of harder. Maybe some concerns over income or work. A bridge, a bridging energy, possibly to a better reality or opportunity here. Having your pick of the litter, which is good. Seven of Cup in the upright, Five of Swords in the reverse is that bridging energy. Knight of Swords is that enthusiasm rushing towards it. Possibly, probably for the sake of compensation. So as to come out of confusion as to where you stand. Maybe financially, monetarily, getting some rest and relaxation, recovery, and kind of waking to this Nine of Pentacle here. Um, Queen of Wands status could be a high status role or something that puts you in a position to where you're sitting pretty. <coughs> It's almost as if, like, when you get it, you're like, ah, I never doubted it for a second. Um, Six of Sword in the reverse is an internalization of peace, more peaceful times internally, getting a grasp on the kind of mechanism of uh, personhood better, remembering that we live in an abundant universe and we just have to tune into it and open ourselves to it, set it, forget it, and um, you know, enjoy the experience, the unfolding, and keep on tuning to those higher powers of gratitude and such. Trust, divine faith here, Ten of Pentacles here. This is saying, look, it's real, it's grounded. You know, it's like saying like, Santa Claus is real. Type energy. Um, yeah, coming out of Nine of Wands in the reverse came out twice, so this is coming out of that heartbreak. It's it's funny because it came through Nine of Wands and Three of Swords came out twice times two. Three of Swords came out first, and then the Nine of Wands in reverse, and then Nine of Wands in reverse came out, and then the Three of Swords. So you're kind of reverse engineering, backing your way out of this worry, concern, heartbreak via tuning into working smarter instead of harder. Um, setting your sights on that. that that's a guidepost for you, a guide stone. So remember, your, your mind is the antenna. You're picking the channel. The channel is working smarter instead of harder. You're opening yourself up to that. Your heart magnetizes that channel or TV station or program and projects it on the um, interface that is your life experiences. But you have to have the mindfulness and the awareness to tune into that, to know that that's possible in the, in the field of quantum possibility. Remember, we're told that we only have three channels, scarcity, limitation, and, you know, fear. You know, that's, that's what the top down tells you, you know, but that's not true. You, you have abundance, proliferation, awesomeness, you know. All that stuff, being filled with love and light and Holy Spirit and all that good stuff. Um, and when you kind of peek over that wall, you kind of realize, and you're like, oh my God, this was so fucking easy. Why did I make it so hard? You made it so hard because you, you believed the lie that there was only three channels to tune into. You know. So, you know. Um, let's see. Anything else here? Yeah, I do see a victory coming through in the form of this kind of offer here. And, you know, the karmics that have been in your life might see that, you know, come through to you. And they weren't with you when the chips were down, so uh, I would say don't don't invite them or accept them when the chips are up in your favor. How often more please?